Hi guys, Phil Graham here. Today I have genetic supplements, creatine, manufactured from the highest quality creapure, the highest pharmaceutical quality creatine on the market today. Now what is creatine? What does creatine do and why is it important? First of all, creatine is one of the most safest, well-researched supplements in the sports nutrition supplement field. Creatine has wide applications in various sports, right from strength training, bodybuilding, rugby, and a whole host of other sports involving explosive movements. So when it comes to understanding the use of creatine in enhancing sport performance, we need to first of all look at a molecule inside the muscle called ATP. This is a particular molecule known as adenosine triphosphate. It is adenosine plus three phosphate groups. Whenever a muscle cell contracts, phosphate groups are lost off this ATP to form ADP, which is adenosine diphosphate. This is adenosine and two phosphates. Creatine is stored in the muscle tissue as creatine phosphate in conjunction with additional single units of phosphate. These phosphates are then regenerated and broken off and recontributed back onto the ADP which is being used up in a muscle contraction to remake ATP. Whenever we have ATP we can perform better. So if we have greater stores of creatine and phosphate derived from creatine supplementation we're going to have quicker replenishment of ADP whenever it becomes depleted from ATP during a muscular contraction. So think of your ability to train harder, to recover better. This is going to allow you to create a better training stress within the gym and allow you to achieve your goals of fat loss and muscle gain much more quickly. Creatine has also shown some other promising health benefits in terms of boosting brain performance and improving other health markers as well. There have been hundreds of studies demonstrating the effectiveness and safeness of creatine improving lean body mass, increasing aerobic performance, increasing weight training performance in high intensity interval training and also high intensity exercise and also its effect on improving body composition. Just think about it, your ability to train harder and recover better in conjunction with a good diet is going to allow you to achieve that body composition effect that you're after. In terms of how to use creatine, there are a number of ways that it can be taken. It can be either loaded up over a short period of time and then maintained on a particular dose. Typically we would load up at 0.3 grams per kilogram of lean body mass and then maintain on around about 5 grams per day. Some people may not like this due to the associated water weight and water retention that's retained with creatine. However, bear in mind that this water retention is in the form of lean body mass and it's specifically stored within the muscle tissue. It will also assist in the replenishment of muscle glycogen, which again is associated with an increase in lean body mass. For females and individuals fighting within weight categories, you may want to consume around two to three grams per day long term. And this will usually saturate creatine stores at around about the six week mark. But the loading protocol that I discussed earlier on would be ideal for getting it into the system very, very quickly. It has been proposed that the best way to take creatine is in conjunction with a carbohydrate, quite simply to enhance creatine retention within a muscle cell. The best times for this are going to be specifically post-workout, whenever you're going to consume carbohydrates to replenish lost muscle glycogen, or throughout the day on a non-training day with a carbohydrate-rich meal. So just to summarize, creatine is one of the most safest, highly effective and cost-effective supplements that can help you improve your body composition and performance.